I'm Michaela Chavez in Odom, where city leaders are racing to avoid a financial disaster. As we've reported, the city could go broke in a matter of days. We told you about last minute efforts that could rescue the city, but what's the mood among residents as their community teeters on the brink? We spoke with several Odom residents, some just learning of these issues. The general feeling, worry and frustration. It's, uh, it's sad that previous administrations let it get so far behind in such bad shape. And now it's like the climate. We, we waited too long to start doing something and it's, uh, it's going to be a while before it gets fixed. The Odom Economic Development Corporation has agreed to loan the city $200,000, but the city council still needs to okay it. The city also needs to come up with long-term solutions. The mayor says cuts will have to be made, but residents say there are some things that should be off limits. We have a really nice library for this size of town. I hope they don't cut that. And we just got a good police chief. I hope they don't cut him. Lifelong Odom resident Soveda Vela also shared her concerns with us. I'm worried about are we going to get water? Are we going to get garbage picked up? And that's what I'm worried about. Other residents want to know how their city got into this situation. I don't know where our tax money is going. That's, that's the only thing that really doesn't make sense. Mayor David Maldonado, who's been on the job for three months, hears those concerns. I'm going to try to be open and honest uh, with everything that's going on. Um, you know, we're going to do our best to get back uh, on track. The city will discuss possible solutions to this budget crisis at a workshop open to the public Saturday at 9 a.m. in the library at Council Chambers. Reporting in Odom, Michaela Chavez, Chris 6 News.